This ain't advice. I'm not your advisor. And as they say in the biz, slap that subscribe button. We're only about 10 hundred thousand away from a million. We're almost there. Welcome back to another Buck Talk mailbag episode. Let's just get right into the question. Mom has no savings. What are her retirement options? Your mom's 46, living in New Jersey. She's a U.S. citizen, immigrated to the U.S. about 15 years ago. Oh, welcome. Uh, she currently has no savings, no retirement account to speak of. They're wondering what options there are for her when she gets retirement age, what resources there are out there for low-income individuals' retirement. She's always made about 25 k a year. All right, really good news here. Really, really good news. So she's going to have been paying into Social Security for those 15 years, and if she works uh, until 65 or 70, um, she's going to be pretty close to having the maximum amount of years of Social Security. She She's making 25000 a year. She's not... Uh, she, she won't be getting the maximum benefit, but actually for people who make around how much uh, your mom makes, they get a really high percentage of their income gets replaced by Social Security. Uh, we, can, we can actually we can punch it into a calculator right now and give you an estimate. All right, so just rough and dirty numbers, but uh, you can check out her actual or you can ask her to check out her actual benefit. Uh, by going to socialsecurityadministration.gov. But I assumed that uh, starting in 2005, she earned $20,000 uh, until 2011. And I just kind of made this up halfway, but then 25,000 since then. And then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I, I did make the assumption here that your mom's paying into social security, but it's very unusual not to be. So unless she's getting paid like cash under the table, um, she would have been paying in all, all this time. And you can see that if she uh, retires at either her full retirement age, 67, which would be in 2040, uh, assuming I just made up a date of birth for her that would make her, uh, make her 46. And uh, all these benefits are in today's dollars, by the way. Um, if she takes the benefit at 67, then she'll get $1,240 a month. And if she waits till she's 70, she'll get $1,538 a month. And just to make it easy, I punched in the annualized math for you. So it'd be $18,000 a year, 18 and a half um, in today's dollars. So it would replace, you know, was that 80% of her income? We can, uh, I guess we can get the number. 74% of her income uh, would get replaced. So that'd be a great replacement rate. And probably she wouldn't actually uh, end up paying any income tax on it. Current uh, the, the way income tax currently works on Social Security, if she doesn't have any other income, it should all be tax free. So uh, at least for federal taxes. So she's going to be in a, a pretty good a pretty good spot as long as she's paying into Social Security. Now she'll she'll probably still want to have some savings in the meantime that she gets by. Um, you know, putting money into probably a Roth type account. Um, probably she's not going to be saving much on taxes by deferring into an IRA or four hundred one k, but contributing whatever she can save into a Roth. If she does that, then she'll have money that's going to grow tax free. She can draw it; it'll be tax free when she draws it, and whatever comes up, uh, whatever unexpected expenses, or if she needs to like move into a retirement home or something like that, then she'll have some money to do it. It'd be very hard just off of social security to have a lump sum available for an emergency like that. So it still makes sense for her to save, even if she can only do a little bit, um, to be ready for that kind of emergency. But social security is going to be a pretty good deal for her. She will have to pay for Medicare out of social security. And that could be a pretty significant expense. Um, for her, it should be on the very cheap end and who knows what that'll look like at the time. So maybe it'll be totally different. Um, but I think she'll, she'll be in pretty good shape, actually. I don't think you need to worry so much. Um, and w one last thing, uh, if she was married uh, for 10 years, then she'd be able to claim off of uh, the spouse's benefit and get half the benefit. So if she does marry in the future, or if she was married in the past and doesn't remarry, potentially she could even get a higher benefit. So something to think about. Good question, and uh, 
hope your, hope your mom does uh, does well in retirement.